In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to register for South Central Yearly Meeting. First thing you need to do is open your browser and go to this address, www.scym.org register, or just go to scym.org and follow the links to get here. Now, there are two ways to register really. One is the easy way and the other is the easier way. There really isn't a hard way. But the uh, the first way I'm going to show you is if you are not signed in to the website. If you do have a website account uh, or you want to uh, request an account, I'd encourage you to do that because the process is a little easier. But I'm going to show you how you can do it if you're not signed in. The first thing is we ask you this question really in order to keep the spammers off the site. But you know that the name of the founder of Quakerism is George Fox. And then you can click uh, start your registration. Now the first thing you're asked for is your email address. If you don't have an email address, then enter some word or phrase that you can use to look up your registration later. Uh, but uh, we'd encourage you to use your email address. So um, oh, I'm going to make one up for this example. I'm going to do and we'll continue. And then you put in a name for your registration. Now this could be just your name, or it could be your family name. Like let's say, in this case, this will be John and Mary. Um, you are required to enter your email address or your phone or your street address. Uh, it's helpful to enter all of it uh, for us to have it for the record. But you're only required to enter a couple of things. And you can enter notes here uh, that in case you have any questions for the registrar. And when you've got all your contact information here filled out, you're ready to add attenders. So you click that button. So let's say our first attender is John uh, Quaker Folk. John is a first time attender. Uh, now this drop down, uh, some folks who register for yearly meeting uh, qualify for a, a special uh, break on the fees. Uh, these include teachers, uh, guests such as uh, keynote speakers, and SCYM staff such as the registrars and site coordinators. Most people will be general attender. Uh, generation is pretty obvious, You're an adult or a youth or an infant. Uh, we'll do the adult first and I'll show you uh, there's some differences when you do uh, a child or a youth. You can select the yearly meeting or uh, if you're uh, if you're not uh, coming from a monthly meeting then you could such as uh, let's say you're representing American Friends Service Committee you would fill that out here in other affiliation. Uh, we'll get you uh, arrival time uh, let's say I'll say John's arriving Thursday evening and he's departing 
Sunday morning. Uh, and then you can uh, indicate a housing uh, preference. Uh, if you uh, if you don't know what all these things are, we have this link more housing information will tell you the different kinds of housing that housing that is available. So we have uh, dorms, we have cabins, and we have uh, motel, camp motel, and health house, which really counts as a motel but is generally reserved for people with special needs. So let's put the Quaker folk in, uh, let's have them request the, uh, um, let's see, a couple's cabin. That would be good. Okay. And uh, then we uh, can check off the, uh, the meals that we expect to be uh, eating it uh, in, in the cafeteria. If you're a vegetarian or if you're gluten-free, let's just make him gluten-free, you can check that off. <coughs> Generally, we encourage people to bring their own linings, linens and bedding, uh, such as pillows and sheets and so on. Uh, but if you uh, can't do that or if you forget to do that, uh, you can check this. Uh, and you can uh, get uh, the linings, linens at the camp for an additional fee. If you have special needs, uh, such as uh, <coughs> hearing impairment, mobility impairment, or anything else, you can select this. If, uh, if you have some special need that's not listed in the drop-down list, you can put it in the notes. You can make any other notes here that you think would be useful for the registrar to know about the individual attender. Okay, so there's John. So we're through adding John, and we'll uh, but we've got more to go, so we'll click on Add Another Attender. So now let's add Mary. Let's say Mary's been here before. Uh, she's a general attender. She's an adult. Now, notice that uh, we carry over the same information we entered uh, for John, because in many cases... Um, the next attender is going to be staying the same place and coming from the same meeting uh, as the other one. So that saves you ha having to enter uh, additional stuff. Except let's say that Mary is a vegetarian and uh, of course um, you know you can you can make changes to any of this if it doesn't suit. Um, okay let's add one more attender. Okay, let's add uh, Susie. Now, let's say that Susie is a youth. I'll make Susie a six-year-old. Uh, there are a couple of bits of information that we would like to have for children that are not required for the adults. First is the date of birth. Uh, this can be approximate. I'll show you a, a shortcut on this. Let's see. Uh, uh, Susie's, what did we say? She's six. So uh, you can drop down the year like this. So you can go right to 2010 and, uh, and pick the date. Okay. Grade level. Let's see. She's a six-year-old. So let's put her in first grade. Um, and then everything else is pretty much just like John and Mary. Um, so we've added, so we've got John, we got Mary, we got Susie. So no more attenders. We'll click done. Okay. Now this gives you a chance to, uh, to know how much your, uh, fees will add up to if you want to see the details. You click on this link. And then you can go back with this link. Um, if you want to request financial aid, 
uh, you can request any amount up to uh, the the amount on uh, in this figure. Usually it's the same as the fee total. In some cases it'll be a little different. Um, and so let's let's just request a hundred bucks of financial aid and let's donate uh, 20 bucks to the simple meal and uh, and another uh, let's see another 10 to youth support uh, you can leave these blank if you wish so at this point we haven't really saved any information about your registration so it's very important to get all the way here and then click this button save and submit your res your registration and once you see this screen you know you are registered for a yearly meeting this is the code you entered before which will allow you to look up your registration in the future and if you want to make any changes you can go to these different tabs and uh, you know, edit or remove attenders, change your contact information, uh, view your account, and so on. Now I'm going to refresh so we'll start over at the beginning. Now suppose John and Mary want to come back to the site later and make some changes to their registration. Here's how they would do it. First we'll, uh, we'll enter George. And uh, instead of starting a new registration, we're going to find an existing registration. And then we enter the email address. Let's see, it was and click continue. And here's John and Mary's uh, registration where they can uh, make changes to the contacts or the attenders or look at their account. Also, uh, they can request additional financial aid or change their donations. Now let me show you how it works if you are signed in. Okay, so now I'm signed in, and since I'm signed in, it knows my name, it knows a good deal about me. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, we have more information to work with when we do the registration, and you'll find that the process is quite a bit easier. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll start a new registration. Now here's a trick you get if you are uh, signed into the website. We can uh, look up your address in the directory, so you don't uh, you won't have to fill in all the details. So I'll just uh, uh, I'll just search for myself here, and here's Terry Sorrell and Liz Yates. So I'll select that, and it fills in all my contact information uh, automatically. So I just need to go to add attenders and we get a list of, uh, of the uh, uh, people who live at our address, which are likely attenders. So I'll select myself. It fills most of my information in, except that uh, we have to put in the uh, um, meeting, Wait a minute. friends meeting of Austin. Here it is. Okay, uh, we'll leave arrival time, and you need to put in a housing preference. Okay, and um, um, then I'm going to add another tender because I need to add Liz. 
and I'll select her. Now, if you need to, to put in someone who's not appearing on this list, you simply click this link, add another attender, and it'll give you a fresh blank form. But I'll put Liz in. Fills in Liz's information. Uh, obligingly puts her in the same place I am. And, um, and there you go. We just click Done. Uh, we'll save and submit. And there we are. Now, one of the other benefits to, uh, uh, to doing your registration when you log in is it will remember that you have a current re uh, registration. So uh, rather than look one up, we can just click this. And uh, there you are. We're right back in our registration.